my name is Tamara Chambers and this is episode two of Tamara's Never Seen. And today I'm going to be watching Jurassic Park. The first one. Because I've, I've only seen the third. Tamara's Never Seen. I finally get the Alan joke from the Nostalgia Critic Review. Alan. 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 So the last movie that I watched for the first time, Return to Oz, was interesting, to say the least. This movie was so good. It was released in 1993 and it still holds up incredibly. And there were no wheelers. But there were raptors, so let's get started. So right off the bat, this guy gets eaten by a raptor, so just... You know what you're getting yourself into. No surprises. People are going to be eaten by dinosaurs. Amazing. They find the bug in, in, in the tree sap and, and, and it's like, ah! and they're very excited about it. And I'm not, I wasn't sure why at first. Then you realize that it's a, it's a mosquito and the mosquito has eaten the blood of a dinosaur. So dinosaur DNA, duh. Duh, Tamara. My thing is like, a mosquito probably couldn't eat through a dinosaur's skin. Like, like mosquitoes can eat through my skin because it's soft. That's okay, that's a small, that's a small thing. That's fine, it's okay, I'll let them have it. Then you meet Ellie and Alan who are an adorable couple who find dinosaurs together and they're adorable at the end, but in the beginning, they're not very adorable. They're kind of rough around the edges. It takes a second for you to warm up to them as a couple. It takes Jeff Goldblum hitting on Ellie for you to be like, aw, Ellie and Alan though, they're good. So all the archeologists are looking at a buried raptor on a computer screen when this very snarky kid comes up. It's probably explained who the kid is. I didn't, I didn't catch that. It's just a random kid on like this dig site. And he just goes, that doesn't look very scary. That looks more like a six foot turkey to me. Also a six foot turkey would be horrifying. So just. Also, is that little boy Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> then there's some exposition about Alan not liking kids and Ellie wants kids and are they a couple? They are, but they're not married. Who are they doing? Are they living in sin? I don't know. <laughs> then John Hammond shows up, ruining everything in a helicopter. You're not supposed to love him that much because he like kills people in his amusement park, but I love him. <laughs> He's so passionate and just adorable and sweet and it shows you how much an old white man can get away with. This is a side note, but I could not help but notice inside of Ellie and Alan's trailer on their fridge is like this amazing newspaper article that says, aliens ate my face off. <laughs> Fast forward a bit and you meet Lewis. Obviously, I'm the bad guy. We find out he's working for Mr. Hammond and he's going to steal dinosaur embryos for the bad guys who want to make dinosaurs, but they don't have the technology. And you see what they're gonna transport it in and it's literally like one of those hideaways that people store like, like illegal drugs in. <laughs> Like, people in high school that I knew had this for marijuana. <laughs> like, it's like a shaving cream thing, but just the top, the bottom comes out. And you're like, dinosaur embryos, no way! That's what they're hiding it in. So, he's getting paid like, I don't know, millions of dollars for this. But they're like, here's a six dollar weed hideaway. Good luck! And... Jeff Goldblum. Guys, I guess I've never seen him in much or anything, but he's ridiculous. He is an outrageous person and character. What? What? What, what are you doing, Jeff? What is, what is, what's happening? I get it, I get the hype, I'm on board now. Carry on, I, I get it, okay, keep going. So they're all in this helicopter about to land on Jurassic Park and uh, you know, Alan can't get his dang seat belt to click because he's a you know brilliant uh, scientist and uh, archaeologist and he's like 
But they're completely blindsided when they're finally driving in on Jurassic Park and they see the dinosaurs and they're just like blown away. Which by the way, I loved that reveal. It was so cool and so exciting and they were so passionate about it. And like first Alan sees and then she's just like really excited about this leaf and she's like, this can't be real. This was, you know, extinct forever ago. And then he turns her head and, and then you just see these magnificent CGI. This is so exciting in 1993. Well, get used to it, folks. They do a close-up of Ellie and Alan, and they're, like, tearing up, and he's like, my God, they do... Oh, hold on. My God, they do live in herds. And they're passionate, and you're passionate. We're like, nothing can go wrong. We're invincible. Then all the exposition about the raptors and the other dinosaurs are all female, so they can't breed. It's brilliant. We changed their chromosomes. It's really not that difficult if you think about it. Exposition, exposition. It's never going to happen. So it's obviously going to happen. Life, uh, finds a way. Life, uh, finds a way. They, can you, no, no, Ike, no, 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 no. I don't need you in here. Ike, please don't. Hey, go! Don't ruin this. But, I mean, it's ob it's not the- Ike! I will destroy you forever. Go away. So for some reason, all of them decide to go feed a raptor, and they're alarmed by the fact that they're feeding the raptor a live cow. Which is kind of weird, because obviously raptors aren't vegan, like they're definitely gonna eat meat. I'm a raptor. <laughs> I'm doing the whole vegan, no glucose thing. I also do hot yoga. <gasps> then everyone's like, oh, this is a terrible idea. People are going to die. And the old guy's like, well, here are my grandchildren. Then Alan sees the children and he's like really weirded out that there are kids there. And he becomes this awkward machine and he's super rude to them. And Ellie sees him being super rude to the kids and is like making eyes at him like, I'm ready for this. I'm really ready for you to suck at this. I want kids now! Fast forward two seconds later and Alan is acting way more like a kid than the kids are. So they're on the car tour and they drop a goat into one of the dinosaur exhibits and we find out that the little girl is a vegetarian. You should not have come! So they're waiting for something to come eat the goat and Jeff Goldblum is flirting with Ellie and Alan could care less and he sees a dinosaur in the distance so he's like, Bye. <laughs> Good luck with this weirdo. Alan finds this sick dinosaur and they're trying to figure out what's made it sick and they find these giant poop piles and they're gonna look through it to figure out what got the dinosaur sick. But the best part about this scene is that Jeff Goldblum swaggers up to this pile of poop with more swagger than I could ever muster and he's walking towards, again, a pile of poop. Poop. So they're sitting in the car and they realize that all of the security for the park has been shut down because Mr. Bad Guy over there had to steal his embryos. And then it happens. It's the motherfucking T-Rex! It's the motherfucking T-Rex! It is, it is the motherfucking T-Rex. This scene is amazing and it holds the fuck up. It is so good and it's scary and suspense filled and the kids are like moving around and she's got the light on. They're like, ooh, they can sense movement. And so Alan shoots off a flare and the T-Rex like goes after it. And then Jeff Goldblum has to be the hero and he shoots off another flare even though the dinosaur's already, already going the other way. And he's like, I got it, you saved the children. And so he's running with the flare and it's like, well, he was already doing that. And so because of that, the T-Rex then smells the lawyer who ran away and he was in the bathroom and, and he eats the lawyer. So the lawyer's dead. Second person to die, I'm pretty sure, from the, the dinosaurs. So the lawyer dies, obviously. That was obviously gonna happen the whole time. He's the worst, everyone hates him, gonna die. Then the bad guy, Dennis, dies, obviously. Everyone knew that was gonna happen too. He's clumsy and stupid and no one likes him. So Alan saves Timothy, which, Thank goodness, alive, because Timothy is Tim. He's the best character. He just speaks to my soul. They're like in the top of the tree, and Alan's like, let's climb down. And Timothy's like, well, it's impossible. <laughs> it is. I'd stay in the tree. I would stay in the tree. I'm not going down there. Also, there's dinosaurs. I'm going to stay in the tree. 
forever. So this is where I live now. Me and the tree are dating. Then Ellie finds Jeff Goldblum, who's been like chomped up a bit, not doing great. But he manages to recover in time to say like this amazing line. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Make sure to tell John thanks for the lovely weekend. Explosions go off. He's like, I didn't. I can't do an impression of him, obviously. Ask Rob Walker. He'll do it. And Doug. Anyone in the world can do one. Except for me, apparently, because I've never seen him in anything. Then we find out that the little girl is a hacker. She's a vegetarian. She is a hacker. And she's 11. That's more ambitious than I will ever be. Just a side note, I love the hold on to your butts guy. They're all trying to devise a plan to get the kids back and figure out how many raptors are out there. And it is driving Jeff Goldblum crazy to sit there because his leg is hurt. And he's sitting there and he's just like trying to smolder, save everyone. Like his legs are there and he's just like, Ellie finally gets the power back on and electrocutes Tim. He flies off of the fucking fence. And it's amazing. And he lives, of course. He's not, not gonna kill off Tim, but it was an incredible scene. It's like... <laughs> Alan's like, you better come down from there. I'm gonna count to three. And, and Tim's like, okay, I'm so scared, but I'm gonna count to three. And Ellie's like, shing! 10 out of 10 would recommend watching again. And then after Ellie turns on the electricity, we find out that Hold On To Your Butts guy has been eaten, and the raptors have just been waiting for her to do what she needs to do, which is very kind, very considerate of the raptors. I don't remember how the kids and Alan get separated, but they do somehow because Alan and Ellie then reunite, and they try to figure out how many raptors are loose, and they decide two, because there are three, but they can't open doors. So then they open doors. The kids lock one of the raptors in a freezer, because the kids rock. Then they're trying to lock the second raptor out of the area that they're in, but they can't because the computers are down and they need someone to hack it. Oh, wait! The little girl is a motherfucking hacker! So she hacks that shit like a fucking G, and she saves everyone's lives. She saves everyone, and it is not realistic. She's like, beep, boop, beep, obliterated. And then the whole escape from the third raptor is very intense, and then the motherfucking T-Rex comes in and saves them all, and they escape. Then they all make it onto this helicopter, and it's the end of the movie. And Mr. Hammond is like reflecting and sad that it didn't work out. And Ellie and Alan are like smiling because they're like, maybe we can have kids. And Jeff Goldblum is like in the corner and he's sad that he, he didn't have sex with anyone because his legs were hurt. And it's the, it's the end. <laughs> it was so good. It was such a good movie. I don't know why I haven't watched it until now. <laughs> like I'd heard so much about it that I felt like I had seen it. And I don't know why I had only seen the third. But I've seen the third like three or four times. And I love the third. I think the third is really good. I feel like I'm gonna love every single movie that I watch for this series, so. Get ready for that. <laughs> Get ready for undying optimism. The soundtrack is incredible. I loved the music. It was so good. One thing though, I don't know if you guys have noticed this or if you've seen videos with other people pointing it out, but we finished the movie and I was watching it with my boyfriend and he pointed out that about an hour and 50 minutes in, you see a raptor's whole body in a doorway and you can clearly see this tech person coming in with their hand and like adjusting the raptor's body. <laughs> And it's just, and it's there for a while. Like it's like a couple, it's a good chunk of time that this person's hand is there. And it's so weird. It's so weird that they didn't notice it or maybe they got the footage back and they were like, fuck, fuck. Can't change it now. <laughs> but let me know if there's more instances like that. And thank you so much for watching. That's the end. I'm Jeff Goldblum. No, I'm not. I just wish I was.
cut back to Jeff Goldblum, who's talking about how he's always on the look for the future ex-Mrs. Malcolm. And then suddenly all of America raises their hand, like, 